All right, good morning. So, yesterday you were working on this, and I put an editable one on there, and I don't know if anybody tried it, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this today, and then I'll we'll do the, the review test. All right, so this is called Math and the Park. This is Lesson 6.9. And it says here that Liam collects data at the park. He wants to know how many animals can fly and how many animals cannot fly. So we have a nice little table here. This is called a table or a chart. Um, not the kind of table you eat your food at, obviously. This is a different kind of table. It's a data table. And it's where I put my data. And they told me to record with circles and five groups. And I'm going to say that I'm going to have us record with circles for animals that can fly and I'm going to have us record with triangles that for animals that cannot fly. And that's just my, I changed what they said here. So they told me to sort. So yesterday I, I did, I sorted, I looked. And so I circled the animals that can fly. So I'm going to go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Is that a bird? I can't tell if that's a bird. I think it is. Eight. Eight. I see eight and nine. I see nine. I'm going to count again just to make sure I'm going to look really close. Yeah, those are birds. One, two, three. Those can fly. One, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So I see nine animals that can fly. And they want me to use five groups. So you remember one, two, three, four, five go on top. And then six goes right under there. Seven, eight, nine. Remember, my nine looks almost like a ten group. There's one missing there. So there's my nine animals that can fly. And then I'm going to count my animals that cannot fly. So I have, and I'm going to put my phone real close here. It's kind of hard to record. I record with my phone in case these look bad. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six animals that cannot fly. Those are squirrels and bunnies and things like that. Oh, six. One, two triangles. Three triangles, four triangles, five triangles, six triangles. So I've got my five groups here. These are five groups. All right. And then they say use the data. This is my data now. I have a data chart here to complete. So number two says how many animals can fly? And I counted five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Number three says... How many animals cannot fly? Five, six. You could also write the word like that. You should know our number words. How many animals does Liam see in all? Okay, so this is this in all part here means all of the animals. So I could count the data in the picture, but it's easier just for me to add nine plus six. So I go 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I can also write the word like that. Remember, this is a teen number 15, not 50. And then here it says how many more? More animals can fly than cannot fly. So now this is going to be a little bit trickier because... More of them can fly than cannot fly. So there's a couple of ways that I can solve that. I could put my data, I could put my nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a line and put my six, three, four, five, six under it and match it up. A lot of times I like to match up and see what my difference is. That's one way. I can also do 9 minus 6. I can also do 6 plus something equals 9. Either way, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
I get three if I do it that way. I get three if I do it that way. And if I draw four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I count and I take away six, I get three that way. Any of the ways that I choose to find the difference, when they're asking me how many more or how many less, they're asking me a difference. Finally, the other thing I could do is I could put nine here and I could put six here and I could put a circle here because I don't know the difference and I could go six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, all of these ways I am finding the same thing. I am finding what's the difference, the part that goes in that circle. And the difference is three. And this time I'm going to need a label, three more animals. And then I've completed my page. Awesome. Let's turn this over and let's look at these. So we've got some pictures here. We've got some kids. We've got some swings right there. And we've got some bikes right there, bicycles, bikes. It says solve and it says show your work. Whenever it says that, that means they want me to show what I did right there to solve. So I'm going to read my problem here. It says there are eight swings, 12 children want to swing. How many children must wait to swing? Okay, so we know that there are eight swings, and we know there's 12 children that want to swing. Okay, so here's our eight swings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the children could swing. And then I'm going to count on 9, 10, 11, 12. I can do that. I can also do this. 12 children want to swing. There's only 8 swings. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The difference is 4. Okay, so over here I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kids on a swing, and then nine, 10, 11, and 12 are here. They have to wait for the swings. So either way works. I figure out four, and my story is about children. Okay. Down here we have 10 bikes are on the rack. Seven children start to ride. How many bikes do not have a rider? Okay, so it says that seven children are going to ride and that there's ten bikes. So here's our ten bikes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it says that seven children start to ride. And then we're going to find out how many bikes don't have a rider. So I'm going to draw my seven kids. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I can see these three here don't have a rider. I can also go like this, seven, oops, sorry, not seven, ten. The total is ten. Seven goes here, my mistake. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I can find out three don't have a rider. So I could do it using my picture and see that these three don't have anybody on them. Or I can do it like this and find out that that's three. I can also do 10 minus 7 equals 3. You can take away. Any of those ways are going to solve that problem. Anyway, we have three bikes. This story is asking me how many bikes, bikes do not have a rider. So I write three bikes. All right, perfect. So there's that answer from yesterday. And I'm going to go and make a separate video for today.